Today's episode of this week's episode of the sales meeting is we are going to do a walk around. And so, this is how I would do a walk around right here. So, follow me. Hello, everyone. Noel Walsh here, and we are on the course, the channel, Conquer You Sales Meeting. And in today's module, in this week's module, what we are going to do is I am going to give you a Noel Walsh style walk around so do me a favor and follow me so five things that I'm gonna cover in a walk around are safety features I'm gonna cover things that I think are cool I'm gonna cover things that a lot of other customers like on that same product I'm gonna cover things that the product shines above the competition on but most importantly I'm gonna accomplish and I'm gonna touch base on the options and the features that I know the customer sees as value that sees as convenience and satisfaction to what they're trying to accomplish so this is what I would do on a walk around right here I say mrs. Walsh thank you for coming in today you are looking at this 2014 Rubicon this is a true beauty. You will not see another one like this on the road. This is a head turner. It's a 2014. It's the Rubicon, which gives it the rear locking differential, among some other features. But this also has a lot of off-road equipment added to it. So once again, you will not see another one like this. Now, these two roofs come off, so you can have it as just a front bikini top or you can take the whole back roof off also. Now the cage on top is great for if you like doing camping or outdoors, that can also screw off. It is screwed into the top of the vehicle, but it is on these bars right here. It can come off easy. You can do that with a hand from another. Right here you see we have the 37 and a half inch Goodyear off-road tires. These are actually Kevlar, so therefore they are bulletproof. So if you are out, off, in the woods, in the mountains, out on the trails, there's a good chance you aren't going to get a flat tire. The vehicle sits up high. It has a 6-inch lift along with the 37 and a half inch tires. And so it does have the running boards that make for ease for you to get in. Now what you'll see a lot of people don't like about the Jeeps is the smaller mirrors. It does make the visibility a little bit tougher, but these are for trails. That's why they make the mirrors smaller because these vehicles are still made, even though they're trendy, even though they're popular, they are made to go on the trails. Now this has a Banks air induction. So what that's gonna do for you, Mr. Mrs. Walsh, is that's gonna give you more power out of the gate and it's gonna give you that power when you're truly living a Jeep life. And remember, you're not just buying a product you're buying a style of life and you're basically buying into a club. You've got all the Moab Industries did all the aftermarkets. You've got the seven standard seven slot grill, which is standard on all Jeeps. You have the KC lights and you have the winch. The winch is great. Sometimes it's just fun to play with, let the kids play with. Obviously make sure that you're there with them, Mrs. Walsh. But at times, you also may need to use that to move something in your trail, to move something out of your way, or to pull yourself out of a tough situation. So Mrs. Walsh, this is the outside of the vehicle. Next, I'll show you the inside. But I'm not gonna go to the inside of the vehicle today, but if you see, I touch base on a lot of different things. I know the mirrors are gonna come up because you guys who know me know I have a Jeep. I complain about the small mirrors, but I understand why they're designed that way. So now, and I've taught this in other training modules, when Mrs. Walsh, when that customer gets in that Jeep and they're like, wow, the mirrors are small, they're gonna realize, oh, but they're small for to go off on trails. I touch base on the tires, I touch base on the stuff that was added to it, and I also touch base on that it's a unique vehicle and it's an experience. So whenever you are giving that walk around, make sure you're touching base on those five points. And those five points are what you like best about the customer, about the vehicle, safety features on the vehicle, 
vehicle, the features on the vehicle that a lot of your customers tend to like and consistently talk about how it's a true convenience for them, what your manufacturer wants to state about the vehicle, but most importantly, it's all about what the customer values about the vehicle, building value on that, and making it a fun presentation where you interact and engage with the customer. Once again, Noel Walsh on this Conquer You sales meeting. Go out and conquer you.